In today's tutorial, I'm going to be making this halter top which ties at the back. It's a really, really quick and easy make for total beginners and I hope you enjoy. So what you will need for this is some lightweight or fingering weight yarn. I'm using cotton because I just like the sturdiness of it. You need less than one skein for this. I just have three because I'm going to be doing mine in a gingham pattern. So I'll just be using three different colors, but you only need one. You'll need a three millimeter crochet hook, a measuring tape and some scissors. So like I said, I'm doing mine in a gingham pattern. I'm using pink yarns because I'm actually making this to go see the Barbie movie in because I just wanted something pink and cute. So before you start, you need to measure under your breast and then subtract five inches from that measurement. And this is how long you should make your starting chain. So make a slip knot and chain until you have your under breast measurement minus five inches. So once you have your beginning chain, chain an extra two for turning. Um, this is gonna be made with half double crochets and I've seen a lot of tutorials that do just one turning chain for half double crochet. I've done some research and I've found some really conflicting information. So I usually do two, but if you wanna do one, that's fine, it's up to you. So for the first row, skip your turning chain and you wanna work one half double crochet into every stitch till you reach the end of the row. If you're a total beginner and you don't know how to do this, I'll show you. You just wanna yarn over, place your hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, pull your yarn through all three loops and that's it. It's a really simple stitch. If you are wanting to do a gingham print on yours as well, you just do for the first four rows, you want four half double crochets of your lightest color, color one, and then four half double crochets of your medium color, color two, in alternation. So that's for the first four rows, you want those two. And then for the next four rows, uh, it's four half, half double crochets of color two, and then four half double crochets of color three in alternation. And just repeat those sets of four rows. I hope that makes sense. I hope you can see from here how I did it. So once you've finished your first row of half double crochets, chain two or one if that's what you prefer, turn your work, and continue working half double crochet rows for a total of 19 rows and then we're going to start doing decreases to narrow up towards the neckline. Once you've finished your 19 rows of half double crochet we're going to start doing a decrease here that's going to narrow the top up towards the neckline and so we're going to start the row by decreasing three stitches into one stitch. To do this you're going to yarn over and place your hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, place your hook into the second stitch, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, place your hook into the third stitch and pull up a loop. At this point you should have seven loops on your hook and just yarn over and pull through all seven loops and that will have turned three stitches into one stitch, so you've lost two stitches at the edge there. Now continue to half double crochet until you're three stitches from the end of the row and do another decrease here. So yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the second stitch, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, insert your hook into the very last stitch, pull up a loop, and then pull through all seven of the loops on the hook. Now chain two and turn and repeat this. Do a decrease at the beginning of this row, decreasing three stitches into one, then half double crochet till you're three stitches from the end of the row, and decrease three stitches into one again. And doing this, we will lose four stitches on each row, that's two on either side, and that's going to narrow the neckline up. Repeat this for a total of 19 rows again, and by the end you should have 38 rows and I'll meet you back there. So at this point we have finished the main part of the top and just chain one and turn your work. Now you're going to single crochet along the top of the top, the top of the neckline. 
So you reach the other side. Once you've reached this side, we're going to chain the length of the next strap. For mine, I did 80 chains. Um, it's completely up to you. You can place it over your head and see where it fits. You need to make sure that it'll be able to fit over your head because it's going to be attached on both sides. So just chain whatever length you want for your neck strap. And once you have the desired length for that strap, slip stitch to the other side. Then chain one and slip stitch into each stitch along that chain till you reach the other side of the top again. Once you've reached the other side, we're going to start single crocheting around the edge of the top. I found that on these slanted parts, um, placing two single crochets into the side of each row came out a bit more even. So that's what I did along this way. Yeah, just working two single crochets into the side of each row until you reach that corner where the top goes straight. At this point, chain 120 stitches and then chain another one for turning. Then skip that first stitch and slip stitch again into each stitch until you reach the main piece at the top. Once you've reached the base of that strap, chain two. Now skip the next row and single crochet into the next row over from that. This is going to be a gap where we can place the strap from the other side through to lace up the back of the top. And then on this straight edge here, I was doing one uh, single crochet into the side of each row, but we're going to do gaps as well. So I did three more single crochets here. That's one per row. So three more rows down. And then I chained two, skipped one row, and then did three more single crochets, chain two, skip one row, and repeat that for the length of the top. At the end, unless you did your top any longer than mine, there should be uh, three rows after the last gap here. If it's one or two off, don't worry too much. And into the corner, we're going to place one single crochet, then chain one and place another single crochet into that corner stitch. That just creates a nice even turn. Now single crochet into each stitch along the bottom of the top until you reach the other side. And once you've reached that next corner, one single crochet, chain one and another single crochet into the same stitch. Now we're going to mirror what we did on the other side. So for mine, I have another two rows up before my next gap. So I'm going to do two more single crochets. Then I'm going to chain two, skip one row, and then start doing four single crochets between each gap. And stop when you're one row before the edge where the decreases start. Once you're one row away from that edge, chain two, and then chain 120, and then chain one more for turning. Skip your turning chain and slip stitch into each stitch until you are two stitches away from the base of that chain. Once you're two stitches away from the bottom of that chain that we just made, single crochet into that corner where the decreases start and that creates the same gap here that we have on the other side for lacing the string through. Now work two single crochets into the side of each row on that angle where the decreases are the same way we did on the other side and once you reach the top just slip stitch into the strap and fasten off. You can weave in your ends here and then fold the back pieces like this and I'll show you how I lace them together. So I just took the opposite piece into the opposite gap and I did them one gap at a time rather than one string at a time if that makes sense. So I did this string in that gap and then the other string and that gap on the same side and just repeat that until they're 
all the way down kind of like a shoelace once you place this on you can tie a bow to tighten it and the top is done i really really hope you enjoyed this tutorial it's a pretty simple one and let me know and also let me know what color you made this in i'd really like to see and have a nice day